Yo, what's up guys? So we finally have some new Yu-Gi-Oh cards to go ahead and check out. So let's go ahead and hop right into them. We've got more speed ride support as well as some new DD support. But anyways, let's go ahead and kick it off with the first card that we're going to be checking out, which is called the Speedroid Cart Turbo or Cart Turbo over here. Anyways, it's going to be a level three win machine tuner effect monster with 800 attack and 1200 defense points. And it says you can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn. The first effect is if you control another win monster, you get to special on this card from your hand. But for the rest of the turn, you cannot activate the effects of monsters except wind monsters. The second effect is you can banish this card and one speed droid monster from your graveyard. Wind monsters you control gain 800 attack until the end of the turn. Okay, so that's just a, another free special summon from certain archetypes. You can still make a lot of cool things. What's interesting with this is it doesn't lock you to only summoning wind monsters. This one means that you can only activate the effects of them. So you can still make other things uh, potentially. And I think that that's really cool that it does allow that. Um, and it is also a tuner, so that definitely helps out quite a bit but for the most part if you're really going to synchro up most people are going to be making that brand drawing 50 cards anyways and at that point you probably wouldn't want to even play that card anyways we have the speed droid a block and roll which is this new little guitar over here and it is a level four wind machine effect monster with a thousand attack and 1800 defense points and it says you can only use the effect of this card's name once per turn this card is sent to the graveyard as material for a synchro summon you get to special summon one speed droid token machine win zero attack zero defense with the same level as the original level of the synchro monster that was used to synchro summon okay that's huge you can get a massive token over there and maybe utilize it later down the line for or other uh, potential uh, plays. I like that. Um, next up though, we got a new DD card called a DD dog. Wow, that's very simple. Anyways, it's going to be a V jump promo. In fact, um, these are multiple V jump. Uh, looks like, yeah, these are all the V jump uh, cards. Anyways, um, level six dark fiend pendulum effect monster with 2000 attack and 2000 defense points. And its pendulum scale is three. Um, and its pendulum effect is you can only use the pendulum effect of this card's name once per turn. The first effect being you get to target a fusion synchro or seize monster your opponent controls negate that monster's effect until the end of the turn then destroy this card in the pendulum zone wow this card is actually really really good um being able just to negate that monster might mean that a lot of people will splash us in it's like a i don't know a cheaper version of maybe like impermanence if you will um and it could be really good for pendulums um but obviously if you're playing a non-pendulum deck just get that pendulum effect that's pretty good the monster effect though, is once per turn if your opponent special summons a fusion synchro or seize monster you can target one of those monsters during that turn that face up monster cannot declare an attack also its effects are negated well this is a really good card for just pendulums in general um just because it has you know not a very insane summon requirement for any pendulum deck just pendulum summon this thing out um being able to just completely stop one of the, their monsters not only from attacking but negating its effects uh is really good and then if you can recycle the card yeah this card does get destroyed during the you know um the end of the turn but maybe you can make use of it if the card is destroyed you get to get some other effect i really do like the ddd dog um let me know guys what you think of any of the cards that we just talked about down below i think the only card that we'll probably see play in like a lot of decks uh might be this ddd dog it might be a tech card since you know there's a lot of uh abilities to search a lot of just pendulum monsters in general uh, i like that ability um if it only had the ability to stop any monster or specifically just a link monster was added into this like text here i think this card would definitely definitely see a lot more play but at the end of the day chalice is probably going to be better but you know i don't know i, I could definitely see some decks that can make use of it if this card is maybe like a, a searchable card for like dark fiend there's a lot of cards that can search out dark fiend right uh any variant of uh, a lot of different decks can make great use of this like dark necrophy there's a lot of different decks that can make use out of it um just in general so i think the card still might see some potential play in some side decks but anyways those are my thoughts you guys can let me know yours down below in the comment section below but anyways thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it if you are new here hit subscribe turn on that bell so you don't miss out on when new Yu-Gi-Oh cards come out and if you guys want to send me in replays of any of the cards that we talked about love to see them but thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you guys in the next video have a good one and i'm signing out peace